Hi, I'm Craig Phillips. Welcome to my top trade tips. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install a wall hung vanity unit with the sink, taps, and the waste. The tools you're going to require are a drill with a drill bit suitable for drilling tiles, a wire and pipe detector, a hacksaw, tap connector, various different spanners, tape measure, pencil, PTF tape, some spirit levels, and a silicon and a silicon gun. First off, check that you've got all of the products. Take your unit out of the box. It already comes assembled with your two sliding drawers. It'll also have the sink, which is designed for a monoblock mixer tap, just like this one. We're going to be using a bottle trap for the waste, and of course, you have your plug section here. Next up is the location. Most people, of course, would fit it where the existing plumbing is. However, if you're going to change the location, you will probably have to get a plumber because you do need your hot and cold feed going into it, as well as the waste pipe for the water exiting. Be mindful of the size. This one is 800 millimeters wide, and whatever you're mounting that onto the wall, you have to be considerate if you have a shower screen here and the door opens up, you must leave enough clearance for it that it doesn't catch one of the edges. So now we can start with the install. Do make yourself familiar with the fitting manual, the instructions. So I've took the sink off the top here and at the back of the carcass, we've got two brackets here in the corner. Now they will be connected to these little wall plates, which will be fitting up here and here, but we'll measure up and get them level in a moment. What we do need to do is get ourselves a hand screwdriver and we've got two small screws in this bracket. We go to the bottom one and we turn that anti-clockwise and that loosens the little bit at the back, which I'll turn that over and show you in a moment, but I'll just loosen these two off. Okay, now they're loose. I can bring this forward. These are the pieces here. I put myself a bit of cardboard down there as well, just to avoid any scratches on the front of them drawers. So this is the back now of my bracket. It's got little teeth kind of coming out here, and same again the opposite side. And this wall plate will slide underneath there, and then it'll be tightened back up again, of course, when this is mounted to the wall. So what we need to do is work out our location here. Now the fitting manual says a minimum of 753 millimeters. That's off the finished floor height. However, you might be dictated to by your existing pipes. Of course, you can put a flexi hose on your hot and cold, but your drainage is going out at a certain height. So my one put up against there, I've got about five to 10 millimeters, give or take from the measurements that are in your brochure. So do double check. The next stage is to work out exactly where they go width wise. We've got an 800 millimeter unit and these two wall plates fit on the inside of this carcass edge. So I'm gonna take a measurement from the inside of this edges here, which is 770 millimeters. Now what I'm gonna do this is my center point from the drainage off there, of course. I'm gonna take a small bolt spirit level, find the very center of my pipe, which is about here, and I'm gonna transfer a straight line up onto this line here. Now this perp in between my tiles just works out at 750 where the instructions say 753. So as I say, I've got that little bit of movement in there. So I know that this line here is level. So 
I'm going to find the center. So now we've got the center point there. And I know I've got 770 on the inside edge of my carcass. Half of 770 is 385. So I'll put my tape on here. 385. Keeping that at 385 and coming right across here to 770, which is here. We know this is level because I fitted the tile, so hopefully it will be. But you at home, of course, get your spirit level and make sure that you've got a true line from there to there. So our marks here now at 770 is the outside edge of my wall plate here. And same again with the opposite side. So the top of my wall plate wants to be on the grout line of my tiles because I know that comes in at 750 from the floor and we know it's level across there. So again, I'm gonna take my pencil and I'll mark it up the same on the opposite side. But before you drill, double check with the detector to see if there's no cables or pipes behind the tiles. Now, whether you're drilling your tiles or the grout between them, it's always best to have a diamond tip drill bit designed, of course, for drilling tiles. Pull the trigger so the drill starts to rotate and press it up against the tile. Slowly raise the drill to the right angle position until you've drilled through to the required depth. Some people use a standard masonry drill bit, which is fine either way, but please remember, don't set the drill on the hammer action setting. This will crack your tiles. Just leave it on the normal standard rotation drill setting. I'm using a brown eight millimeter raw plug. Slide it into the holes. Give it a gentle tap with a rubber hammer if needed. Place the brackets into position and then slowly drive your screws all the way through to firmly fix the brackets to the tiled wall. So I'm happy with the location of the wall brackets. The next stage is I'm going to turn this upside down. I'm going to remove both drawers for two reasons. One, it'll make the carcass lighter when working on your own. It's quite tricky to lift that up into position and the two back brackets hooking onto the wall brackets there. So lifting it on my own will be easier, but it'll also give me a bigger void underneath it to get access when I'm plumbing in the waste pipe and the hot and cold feed. They're quite quick and easy to remove. Just unscrew the screws off both sides of the brackets, drop it down and slide it out. This is the same on both drawers. Then lift the carcass, it's a lot lighter, slide it into position onto them two brackets and it'll hold itself up. Now that you've got the bare carcass hung onto the wall brackets, you can tighten them up both sides using a small hand screwdriver. Using your spirit level, double check that it's level. So next stage is to fit the sink to the carcass. But first, I want to connect the plumbing. Uh, the waste is going to be a bottle trap. We need to get the plug into position to be able to connect the bottle trap. And then we can put the taps on and connect them from the underside. Once all they're fitted together, it can be placed into position. So I'm going to start with the plug. I screw the bottom section off here and you have a washer shaped like this with a little lip upstands here. So remember the position of that. And this section has the washer on it. So we put this right up to that top side 
of that lip there. This is then slid into here, like this. Now there is an overflow, which is this little gap here. That wants to be towards the back. I'm not sure if we can see in here, but we do have a little hole just on the inside there going towards the back. So ideally, that wants to be positioned there. Now I'll turn that round. This washer with the upstand goes on like that. So the upstand is facing towards the bottom of the ceramic part of the sink. Like so. And that actually molds inside the edge of the ceramic there. Then this nut is placed on and wound up clockwise. All the while we've kept that still and the little hole in the back here is going to go through there because that's the overflow and that comes down. We need that to enter, of course, into the drains. So, getting that as tight as I can by hand and then you can give it a little tweak with a pair of pliers. Not very much, it doesn't need much, especially on a new one. about a quarter of a turn and I'm happy with that now. That's really sealed all the way around there. If this was an older one or a second hand one you were taking apart, you might be wise to put a bit of PTF tape along there. Next up is the bottle trap. That again comes with a washer in here. So make sure it does have the washer that comes with the unit. That's put in place. And again, hand tightened. That's it, got it on. Again, that's clockwise. And this one only needs to be hand tightened. You don't need really any tools with that. That's got it. Now this is an adjustable one, so it will slide up and down. So we have got a tiny little bit of play when we come to line it up with our waste pipe here. Now for the taps. This is the mixer tap. First double check that you do have your washers in the end of here. Then at the back of here, we have this nut. So I'm going to unscrew that. Place that at the back. Then we have this unusual shape washer and a rubber little washer the same. Then we have this section. Now we leave this section on because that is for the front of here. So we have to pop them through. These can sometimes be a bit tricky. You can't get the two of them in at the same time. You have to put them in separately like that. There you go. This is just a bit too wide to get through the pre-cut hole. That now is placed on the front there. That washer on and then the tap on there. And now the back of it. This is where it gets a little bit tricky. So I'm going to rest that onto my leg here, place that rubber washer on first. Then the metal washer, it's got the hole in there which goes over the thread. That squashes the black rubber washer to the bottom of the ceramic. And then we start to wind our nut back on.
We take that down as far as we can by hand. And all of a sudden, you start to see back on the front here that that gets a little bit tighter and starts to lock into position. So again, we check that our tap is in line in the centre, of course, and the spout there in the centre. And then take my tap connector, slide that on. You'll probably want to get a couple of turns on there to get that nice and tight. That metal washer is now squashing down that black rubber washer on the underside of there. And that should, yeah, keep our tap nice and square in the centre. And of course, no movement in that at all. So that's the plumbing on the actual sink now connected. We mentioned earlier about the two washers in there. These compression connections are going to be put onto here and simply tightened up with a spanner. That washer will touch the face of here and will close up the tighter that gets to give us that water pressure seal. Place this into position, butt up against the tiles. Now the sink is set in place. I can get a gauge on how much of the waste pipe I need to cut down to tie into our new bottle trap. Mark this up and simply cut it with a hacksaw. Then using sandpaper just sand off the rough cut edge both on the inside and the outside of the pipe. Now you can place the sink back onto the carcass into position and slide in your waste pipe into the back of your bottle trap. The two flexible tap connectors that are a part of the tap already have their washers in. Press these up against the copper May lines. These are flat faced ones. Start to hand tighten that the best you can. Once you've got it so far with your fingers, then use an adjustable spanner or some pliers and tighten them up the best you can. Now the tap connectors are connected on the hot and cold feed and we are connected under here. This just needs half a turn to lock it into position. Now to fit the plug in, this is really easy. We've got a thread in the inside of here, place it on the top, screw it clockwise until it bites, and it's done. Now to help fix the sink to the tiles themselves, although it's sitting on the carcass, I'm going to apply some silicone sealant right the way down the back edge. That'll hold that. That'll hold the sink now nice and tight to the tiles. Now I'm going to seal down the back. Using the same clear silicone sealant, strike a line all the way down the back of the sink and smooth it off with your wet finger. Now the plumbing is complete, you can refit both drawers. Place them onto the runners and drive the four screws in that you've taken out earlier from the underside. And that's how you install a wall hung vanity unit, sink, taps and a bottle trap waste. If you're looking for more inspiration, check us out on all social media handles. And if you want to see more how to top tip videos, subscribe to the YouTube channel. And if you just need to know about the products I've been using, visit the website bathroommountain.co.uk.